Welcome back and today I have a different video which I've never done before. It is a review of the games that I have at the moment for the PS4. These include Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Battlefield 4, Killzone Shadow Fall and for free to play Don't Starve, Rizu Gun, DC Universe, Black Light Retribution, Warframe and War Thunder. They will all be rated out of 9 and you will see why. We start off with Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, the franchise which I've always been a great fan of, up to now, which I've lost interest. And it has had an outstanding single player, as it's been highly rated for many players, and it's well known now, and unlike it was. <laughs> also, this is mainly because of the creativity of having pirates and the open world, and also the ship battles which many people love except me I thought was the worst part because it, it was nothing to do with assassins so and I didn't like it at all so that's why I haven't even touched the single player in Assassin's Creed 4 but how my brothers rated it they liked it but I'm a multiplayer player so I normally rate the multiplayer and but the single player actually in this case Increase the multiplayer because the multiplayer in Assassin's Creed 4 is really, really boring for me. I think the only fun part is if you play with friends, and yet sometimes it gets a wee bit boring. Although, with that PS4 um, new characteristics, it does kind of make it a little bit fun, just a wee bit. But nonetheless, it has been a success for others, but not for me. So I will rate this game 7 <laughs> Battlefield 4 is the next one and this game is awesome for me. I think the single player is fine, it is a wee bit buggy in a way, does not save the the gameplay and it's annoying for my brother because he's the one who plays it and it feels like sometimes he's go through the controller out the window because he rages so much. But on the other hand, the multiplayer, which is mainly what Battlefield 4 is really really fun. It, I have a lot of fun. It's not I'm not the best, but still I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, lots of maps. Although I would like to see new maps, and DLCs coming. That's that's cool. Um, and I haven't played with actually anyone like as a friend on Battlefield yet. Although I have met people, but yeah, you meet people. So after all, Battlefield so beautiful. With the PS4, um, really fun. I like the controller PS4 with it, and overall, I think it's great. And I will rate this game eight out of nine. <laughs> Killzone Shadowfall is the next one, and this is an exclusive for PS4 only. And first thing, being exclusive for PS4, it is so beautiful. The graphics look so good. It's so sharp. Is, it's unbelievable. It's definitely a next gen, or at least in visual like. But I don't know gaming. It's yeah, it's kind of. Anyway, the single player and the multiplayer are both really fun. Though the single player is has a bad downfall. It is the saving points. They're really annoying because you have to go, you have to do the whole mission again almost. And the multiplayer, great. Only bad thing is the variety of guns they have. Unlike Battlefield, obviously, because it's a kind of like a sci-fi or something. But anyway, it's still fun. It's it's a game that you will enjoy a lot or you hate it a lot. The multiplayer, especially it's the only multiplayer. But I I actually enjoy it a lot, so I'm not a one. I'm not a negative one, I guess. And because just the fact that it is a game that you will die a lot, but it's easier to kill people. It's like the life is really low. Which in the shooting shooting game it should be like that, because like one shot you're dead anyway. Unlike Battlefield, you get like ten shots and you're not dead yet. But it's realistic in that way, and the maps are great. So I will rate this game an eight out of nine. Now we go to a free to play for a PS4. First one, Don't Starve, exclusive content for PS Plus members and. It is free, and when something's free, we'll get it. We all love free stuff. This is a survival game, similar to Minecraft, I guess, because that's what it is. But 
it's more a gothic, if I can say that, gothic type art, really unusual. The monsters in it look like a four-year-old drew them, and they're weird, especially the bird thing. But anyway, it is, it's fun. It's a fun game. I think if it had co-op, it would be way better, but it lacks of, lacks of that, and I don't think it will get it. But apart from that, it's a, it's a good game. It just, only thing is you do get a wee bit bored of it when you have nothing to do, but then it gets exciting afterwards, you're almost dead, so that's good. And so I will give this a 7. <laughs> Weasel Gun, this is a highly rated game for PS4 and it is so beautiful. The explosions in it and the the colours and everything, it's just like multicolour, it's really cool looking, it's the graphics of the PS4. And it's arcade, so it's okay. Like playing the actual game is okay. Like for me, it's a wee bit boring. I need a wee bit more action than that, but it's still fun and and it's, so it's really cool. Uh, so I will rate this a seven out of nine. <laughs> DC Universe, yeah, this game is okay. I'm not a big fan of the DC Universe more than Marvel, although <laughs> I have not a clean about any, I don't read comics, it's a wee bit lame, um, but anyway, it, I thought it was going to be a wee bit, at least decently fine, but it was really crap, <laughs> it was really boring, like, it's cool to make your own hero, or villain, and I was the villain, because I was just like being the bad person, well, at least in the movies and that, and it, yeah, it gives you good stuff and all that, but Apart from that, it is so boring. The graphics, it's like a flipping 2006 game or something. It's, uh, come on, this is PS4, not PS3 or PS2. So I think they should make it a wee bit better than that. So I'll, I'll give this a lowest rating, a 5 out of 9. <laughs> Black Light Retribution. This game is, okay, this is another okay game, um, it's like a copy of a Call of Duty and, I don't know, Killzone in a way, but it, it's, it's okay, if you like a free game, the only bad thing is your transactions, and I hate games that do that, because it just makes it limited for people, you don't want to pay that, and fair enough. So it, it was okay game, uh, the first match I played, I was like, beasting everywhere, I was like, bah, bah, bah. I thought it was second, but, holy crap, for my first time, I was, like, killing so many guys, I had, like, this cool streak and everything, so this game is okay, I don't really think it's as good as Dusk, and uh, 5, 4, 5, I think it is, I'm not sure, that's a free-to-play, and that's a wee bit better than Black Retribution, so, I'll rate this a 6, <laughs> Warframe. This game actually is pretty fun if you play with your friends. Um, it's kind of weird though. It's it reminds me of Infinity Blade for the app on their iPod or something. It reminds me the characters look like the other character. Um, but it's like a Star Wars ninja type thing. It's it's weird, but it's it's, it's fun. I wouldn't really play it a lot, but. If you do play with friends, it would be great, I think. So I will rate this game 7 out of 9. <laughs> War Thunder. This is a game based on you being a airplane for the Second World War. You fight against enemies, and it's really fun. Playing as a wee airplane. Normally, airplane games are a bit boring, but this was actually really cool. And destroying people or killing people is actually pretty hard so <laughs> it, it, it's pretty rewarding when you actually do kill someone and I'm not the best at that I'm like a noob uh, but the cool thing I thought about it was that it has a it's closest from PC and PS4 in the way that you have to use a touchpad as the mouse but though you can use the analog but I thought it was really cool I was like whoa this is like the PC and it was fun I don't play that much though uh, so I'll rate this a 7 out of 9. <laughs> and that is it. Those are all the 9 games I have at the moment. 
I am sure in the future will there will be more new videos of other games I have, but at the moment that's them all. On February there's also Outlast and I am sure I will probably get it as it's free and record some uh, videos for you guys, probably with the face cam showing my reactions and I'm sure that they, those will be funny. These are the three most anticipated games I, I want for 2014-2015. Um, first off, The Witcher 3. Awesome game. Has a 20% larger map than Skyrim and that is just, just, uh, just with that is awesome. Because there's never really big maps now. Uh, there's lots of open maps or open world but they're never really big enough. 20% larger than Skyrim and Skyrim will have a big map. And also, this game will have 36 endings. With 5 endings, I would be happy enough, but 36, that is so cool. Another cool thing is it's for only next gen, meaning they'll put like, better stuff in for it. Um, I never played a Witcher game, but my brother has, and he says it's great, and I just, looking at it, looks great. Um, and that's it. The next one is... Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I am a big fan of Tolkien's works and any game that comes out I'll probably get it because I've always enjoyed them. And I, I'm sure you've probably seen it as it's been related to looking like Assassin's Creed in the climbing and some aspects in the game. And to be honest, it does. It does look a wee bit. A wee bit. But there is also different things that it, no other game has, like Nemesis. Was it ne Nemesis something? <laughs> I forgot completely what it was. But anyway, I think it looks awesome. It's really good idea from Monolith, and I'm really looking forward for that one. And the last is Star Wars Battlefront, made by Dice. And I am a massive fan of Star Wars Battlefront. I was, I, I always wanted this game since Star Wars Battlefront Two came out. I wanted the third one, and this is. I was so happy when I saw it announced in E three. I thought it was so cool, and I'm so excited for that game. Although I might not be able to play it. And all these games, I would rate them nine Nazgûls and maybe a Sauron in there, because they are just so badass. And thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure for giving you this review of my games. And please like, comment, and subscribe.